Real estate market, specifically once again talking about Mumbai here, has seen an increase after the second wave got subdued, especially during the Navratri pe period. So there's, there's something good about this festive season as far as market-related news is concerned. This is for the real estate market here. Now, the country's biggest real estate market that has seen over 400 registrations every day in this festive season. Robust sales here have come in despite the end to attractive sales uh, rebate applicable earlier. Now, this is a record low home loan rates, which has triggered this lucrative festive season, of course, offers from realtors and this auspicious period that has seen a boom here in not just luxury and semi-luxury properties, but also in affordable and mid income segment as well. The experts here say, uh, say that if this trend continues, they are now predicting high sales uh, right up to the middle of next month as well, which is the extended festival season, which is the Diwali season. Real estate uh, expert Jeshri Kurup connected with us. Many thanks uh, for being with us, Jeshri Kurup. Uh, in your understanding, uh, what is the exact reason that we are seeing this boost? Because it was, it was not even the real estate market, which was not spared by the pandemic here, it was as hardly hit as any other sector. See, the real estate market uh, did uh, face a small, uh, you know, very sharp drop. But it was a very fast recovery. And Maharashtra is the state that led this. Yes. Because of all the, uh, the stamp duty cuts that they offered, the various incentives that were given to the buyer, there was a huge amount of uh, um, buying that happened in Maharashtra. But the Maharashtra uh, uptake has actually translated into a uh, boom across the country. The sensitors have actually moved away, even if there was no stamp duty uh, okay. incentive given. But I think there are two, three things that we must remember. Over the last five years, the prices have not gone up. So prices oh. have remained in the relatively affordable range. The, may I continue? Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, Jeshi, also I wanted to ask, basis the point you raised here, uh, that because this is a Mumbai-specific return of the real estate market that we're looking at or a recovery that we're looking at right now, uh, do you think that this is now going to have a cascading positive impact across the country? I think it will. Uh, Maharashtra already the, has given the developers the development premium incentive, which they have to pass on as uh, stamp duty cuts to their, uh, to their consumers, which will happen over a period of time as the development continues. So Maharashtra will continue to give incentives, uh, developers will continue to give incentives in Maharashtra, and that is actually a big influencer to the rest of the market. In addition, Bangalore has dropped uh, some stamp duties, uh, restricted stamp duties, Telangana has, Delhi has dropped circle rates. So you can see that different governments are taking a leaf out of Mumbai's book. Mm -hmm. Jashri Kuroop, many thanks for speaking to us here this evening.